Hi everyone, you're here for a whole design tense for our storybook. I am sick. I couldn't remember it there. There's so many storybooks, I'm losing track. This one is called I am sick. Now remember, my turn, your turn, my turn, your turn, when it's your turn, you say it out loud so you can remember it and we'll try and get all of the success criteria. Hopefully we'll get three ticks everybody today. So that'll be our little challenge. If you could comment on the on the daily post for this video and you can let us know if you gave yourself a pat on the back at the end, a pat on the head or a finger clap because it'd be nice to know how you're all getting on. So my turn. I have spots on my chin and on my neck. I have spots on my chin and on my neck. I have spots on my chin and on my neck. Now let's have a little reminder of what we need for a successful sentence today. We need at the start of our sentence capital letters. We also need finger spaces. Now you saw just how many words I had there. So look at all the spaces between my fingers. We need finger spaces, definitely. At the end of our sentence, we need a full stop. Ha! And once we've got to the end of the sentence, we'll get our pointing finger, we'll go back to the beginning and we'll read it all together to make sure it makes sense if we've not missed anything out. My turn. I have spots on my chin and on my neck. I have spots on my chin and on my neck. Let's have a little look at what we need to do for our tricky words. There's a couple here. We've seen this one a couple of times last week. My, well done if you got that one. This one has been one that we've tried to catch tried to keep throughout the week and it is called, it is have have spots on my chin and on my neck some special names we have ch and we have k now listen carefully and i'll point to where these parts are in our sentence and you can use them later on if you need to my turn i have spots on my chin and on my neck. I'll leave these up here. Remember, you're always welcome to have a sneaky peek at them. They're up in the classroom, so you're more than welcome to look when you're writing your sentences. And you can always pause the video as well to make sure that you get a good look. My turn. I have spots on my neck. I said it wrong. Primary one. I wish I was back in the classroom because then all the boys and girls would tell me that I said it wrong. Right, let's try again. I have spots on my chin and on my neck. I have spots on my chin and on my neck. I think I'm saying it this many times so that I get it right now. I have spots on my chin and on my neck. I have spots on my chin and on my neck. Write it. Okay, let's see how you've got on. If you got the chin and the neck the wrong way round, it's fine. It was my fault. Right, capital letter at the start. Have you got a capital letter? If you've got a capital I, give yourself a tick. Have you remembered spaces between your words, finger spaces? If you have, pick one and give yourself a little tick. This is quite a long sentence, so double check. Have you got a full stop at the end of your sentence? You'll see it's here. Not this line, not this line, over here. If you have, give yourself a little tick. 
And of course, if you have three ticks, give yourself a pat on the back, two ticks a pat on the head, and one tick a finger clap. And what we'll do today for our challenge is if you can leave a comment on the post just to let us know if you've got three, two, or one ticks, you can do it in your own Google Classroom if you want to. And also, uh, there's one thing that I say in my class all the time, and I go, practice, 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 perfect. And you would think with the number of videos that we're doing, Miss Smiley would have practice, 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 and they'd be coming out perfect. But no, still made mistakes, but I hope you got, you made some sense of it. Um, thanks for watching.